What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on uh, Peter Shirelli being up at Edmonton to look at, take a look at getting a job in their uh, hockey operations department. You know, I think um, you look at how bad McTavish has been. Might as well put Shirelli in there. And let, let him, you know, let him see what he can do. Uh, you know, for as maligned, I guess is the right word I'm looking for, as uh, Shirelli was by the fans on the way out. You know, he helped build that team that won the Stanley Cup in 2011. Helped construct the team that won the final in 2013. It's like, you know what? This guy had his moments. Uh, I do think it was time to go. But, you know, I, I think if there's a guy that can turn a hockey team around and, and you know, an NHL team around in a hockey craze market, um, it's Shirelli. And, you know, the fans in Edmonton deserve better. I mean, I'm watching these playoff games in Calgary, and those fans are amazing. You know, they, they had a long drought to get back to the playoffs, and, you know, those fans have... You know, waited a long time, and you know they get to root on their flames. And you know, I'm looking at the fans of Edmonton going, they deserve the same thing. I mean, they're amazing hockey fans, some of the best in the league. And uh, you know, it's a damn shame that they haven't played a playoff game since Game Seven of the '06 Final. That's ridiculous. Those fans again deserve so much better than what they've gotten from that ownership group. And I know I've come down hard in the Oilers, but you know, I think it's ownership and management more than it. I would never malign that fan base, never in a million years. Um, and I think again, Shirelli's a guy that can help. You know, construct a team. Uh, he's not above creating a scorer, so if he's going to trade Everly or Taylor Hall, you know, to get help on defense, to help, you know, improve the goaltending situation, he's the guy to do it. Um, and the other thing is, Connor McDavid makes that Edmonton job a lot sexier. I'll tell you one thing. Um, you know, it's like, oh, great, we got Edmonton. It's like, oh, Connor McDavid, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen to the offer. And, uh, you know, again, Metavish and, and company have done a horrendous job with this team, and I think it's time. For a major change, I think again, Shirelli would be a great fit because um, you know he helped revive hockey in Boston. You know the Bruins are more a morbid franchise. He goes out there. I don't know how much he had to do with the transactions, but because he was still technically in Ottawa for another two under contract in Ottawa. But you know Char and Savard come in. They kind of fall into Tim Thomas. You know other you know Bergeron, Krejci, those guys develop. He didn't draft those guys. And next year's draft record's been awful, but he'll at least hit on the first pick in the draft this year, um, if he gets a job. So you know what? I like it. Good for Peter Shirelli. As much as I think he could have done things different in the last few years in Boston, I'll, um, I'm eternally grateful for him. You know helping bring the cup back to Boston. So uh, you know hopefully fans in Edmonton get to reap the same benefits because he. Uh, you know, if you give him the tools, he knows how to do his job. Anyway, that's all I got some sort of the power play with CJ on Peter Shirelli being up in Edmonton. Stay tuned for more episodes about the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.